Malaysia is ranked 41st in global food security, which is relatively low compared to its Asian counterparts. In 2022 alone, Malaysia imported a staggering 75.71 billion ringgit worth of food. Malaysia is in a dire need to find a more sustainable solution for solving this problem. One of the industries Malaysia can invest in is mushroom cultivation, which consists of two sectors, self-planting and large-scale cultivation. It can provide diverse opportunities for both individual growers and commercial enterprises to contribute to Malaysia's self-sufficiency goals. Mushroom cultivation offers a viable solution to Malaysia's food security problems, addressing several key aspects. Firstly, mushrooms can grow remarkably fast, with oyster mushrooms reaching maturity within 3-4 to four weeks. This allows Malaysia's food supply to increase in a short while. Secondly, mushroom cultivation is accessible to all, making it feasible for both rural and urban areas. Additionally, mushrooms serve as a valuable source of micronutrients and antioxidants, which helps in blood sugar regulation and heart health. Lastly, mushroom cultivation is relatively low to maintain and versatile, as sunlight is optional for its growth, ensuring stability in production. Biology knowledge is needed in mushroom planting to prepare a suitable condition for growth. Mushroom requires substrates with vary from sawdust, straw to coffee grounds. The stages for mushroom to grow start from its incubation stage with substrates to stimulate rotting logs. Soon, the mycelium of the mushroom thicken and white spots appear. During this period, farmers can separate the mushroom into multiple batches to prepare for cultivation. The mushroom will grow within 1-2 to two weeks with 90% relative humidity. As soon as the mushroom cap starts curling slightly, they are ready to be harvested. Chemistry is needed in preparing the requirements for mushrooms. Mushrooms in the natural environment have certain requirements to grow rapidly. For commercial maturation, mushrooms require 0.041% of carbon dioxide content in the air. The pH value of substrate should be in slightly acidic to neutral, averaging 6.7 to 6.93. Ideally, the water provided for them should have adequate amount of calcium. Potassium, sulfur, phosphorus, and magnesium. The substrate needs to have 1 to 2% nitrogen to increase the mushroom's productivity and nutritional value. Physics is integrated into mushroom cultivation through various aspects, mainly in commercial production of gourmet mushroom. Airflow and sterilization systems, such as autoclave, are vital in ensuring controlled environment, thus, preventing cross contamination. Temperature regulation within the range of 18 to 24 degrees Celsius and relative humidity of 80 to 90 percent are crucial in avoiding stunted growth. Moreover, providing indirect sunlight, white or blue wavelength LED light between 6,500K to 9,000K for 10 to 14 hours can produce a higher quality yield of oyster mushroom. Math is needed in commercial production as mushroom requires land preparation, steamer and inoculation room and some lab equipment. These development costs need to be estimated to ensure successful production of mushroom. The Pago project in harvesting mushroom at Pan Chua Mua needed 33,000 ringgit for development funds. Meanwhile, operation costs such as packaging and oyster substrate added up to 17,000 ringgit. From this approximation, it is clear that commercial production of mushroom requires the contribution of government agencies. Mushroom cultivation can address Malaysia's food security issue by offering a fast-growing and accessible solution. Mushrooms provide essential nutrients, can be cultivated without sunlight, and require relatively low maintenance. Biology, chemistry, physics, and maths play roles in various aspects of mushroom cultivation, such as substrate preparation, environmental control, and cost estimation for commercial production. To further improve mushroom cultivation, the entire process could be made autonomous with sensors to control factors such as humidity, temperature, and pH value that will affect mushroom growth. The data collected can be processed by artificial intelligence to optimize the mushroom cultivation to produce more and higher quality mushrooms.